Hi everyone. So today I'm taking a look at a fantastic game that's due to be officially released sometime this year, but is available now if you want to get involved and help the developers to develop their game. Now this game is called Starbound, and it's a open world sandbox exploration game. I think that's probably the best way to kind of put it. Now the graphic style might initially look a little bit hmm, simplistic, but don't let that distract you. The gameplay underneath those graphics are absolutely stunning. This is phenomenal gameplay. So it basically follows the story of a character you create. It's very much a sort of RPG style thing. You create your character and your ship has been, well, marooned basically, having run out of fuel. You're the last guy and you'll have to beam down to the planet where your ship has turned up and you'll have to now try and refuel your ship, upgrade your ship, build a home for yourself where you can kind of defend and then ultimately go out there and explore the universe. Now everything in this game you're going to have to work for yourself. It's as simple as that. There's no shortcuts here. If you want to upgrade your ship you're going to have to mine all of the necessary raw materials to create the pieces of equipment. Likewise if you want weapons you're going to have to make your own weapons. Want a door? Make your own door. Need a bed to sleep in? make your own bed. It's as simple as that. And as you progress mining more and more materials, you'll be able to open up the tech tree effectively. So you can progress from wood to iron to silver to platinum, gold and so on. And what this really does is it kind of gives you that RPG uh, progression element, but you're not progressing as a character necessarily. You're not kind of gaining plus one strength or anything like that. What you're doing is you're gaining better equipment, the ability to create and craft new things. Now, you can also um, craft armor um, as well, and that does give you things like increased defense very useful for all of the monsters that inhabit these worlds because the worlds are kind of the, the draw here. Everything is procedurally generated. That means it's effectively randomized. So every single person who plays this game gets a different experience. You get a different starting planet each time. When you actually go out there into the universe of Starbound, there are literally millions of worlds you can visit, each one generated on the fly. And so there's constantly new experiences and new challenges. Now, one of the, the kind of coolest things really, in the first couple of hours of gameplay, you'll really be tasked with kind of learning the ropes and trying to escape the planet. And in order to do that, you're going to have to use a distress beacon but things don't quite go according to plan. And the, it really leads into kind of some of the, the great humor of this game that you can have the uh, Deathwing um, penguins, who are kind of the evil race in this universe, uh, coming to try and stomp you into uh, the dust because you're technologically advanced now. Everything in this game is just well done and it's beautifully executed. You're seeing here the footage sped up about 900 times over normal. It's a fairly slow paced game and you can find yourself quite easily sinking two or three hours into this game without even realizing that you've spent two or three hours. It's wonderful. And the kind of whole styling of it, this kind of, I think it's 8-bit style uh, graphics, but it might be 16. It's been so long, I can't tell the difference between them anymore. Um, the, the way it kind of works, it has that Minecraft vibe going on, you know, digging out the blocks, harvesting the resources, crafting and so on, but done within this 2D plane. And it just works. It works beautifully well. Now, at the moment, this game is available on Steam as a green light game. Uh, it'll cost you around £12, and it's worth every penny, in my opinion. Not only is the game very, very playable at this you know, point in its release, um, but the developers are constantly adding new things to it and kind of expanding this incredibly large universe that we're working with here. As games go, as Steam green lights go, this is a fantastically well executed um, rollout based you know, on the developers. Um, unfortunately, we've seen a lot of green light games where they seem to have taken the money and run. I'm looking at you, Godus. Um, we'll be doing a, a, a video about Godus uh, in the near future and discussing kind of how badly that has gone for um, you know the developers there as part of like a green light and a, an early alpha that they're selling out to the uh, 
you know, world. But ultimately, what we're talking about here is Starbound, and the developers are doing a beautiful job at supporting the community, keeping those content updates rolling out. And they, bearing in mind, this is before the game is even officially released. If you want to take part, if you want to play this game, you're effectively supporting the developers while they're building the game. This is what Greenlight is all about, and that's what Kickstarting is all about. Being able to bring those games to market, being involved in the development process, helping to shape it, and more importantly, seeing games that normally no large publisher would touch with a 50-foot barge pole because they think it's not commercially viable. Well, Starbound, I think, personally proves that if the community support a game, you know, that might seem like it's not going to be commercially successful, actually can turn out to be wildly commercially successful and produce a beautiful game to boot. Starbound is undoubtedly one of the best RPGs that hasn't been released yet. And it may very well turn out to be one of the best RPG-style games that has ever been released once it is released. Hmm, that's a bit of a tongue twister. But anyway, the point is this. If you love these kind of open world exploration games, if you're looking for something just a little bit different, go and check out Starbound. There is so much content here, so many great stories for you to create yourself that it's just a title you have to pick up and give it a try, especially for 12 quid. I mean, come on, 12 quid? It's much better than paying 60 quid for some of these next-gen games, I tell you. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Do please remember to like and comment. And if you'd like to, please subscribe. You can also visit our website and download our Android app. If you do subscribe, you'll be getting a daily dose of the latest tech news, hardware reviews, Android games, consoles, and basically an honest opinion direct from the UK. Stay tuned. Stay Androidism.